Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Svelta Tan Skin Perfecting Self Tanner. Um, I gave this self tanner 2.5 out of 5 stars, so I found it to be very average. I got it on their website for $38, so that's pretty pricey. And it comes in a 5 ounce bottle, so that works out to about $7.60 per ounce. Again, that's pretty pricey. Um, this one comes out, it honestly looks more like a bronzer. It's shimmery and bronzy, it kind of has the color of mud or clay. Um, and it's pretty thick and it smells not good. <laughs> um, I came to bed after applying it and my husband was like, what is that smell? It smells so disgusting. <laughs> I don't think it smells that bad, but it's definitely not good. It smells like baked goods or like caramel or cookies mixed with DHA. So it's very, very sweet smelling and it's kind of nauseating once you get it all over your body. Um, applying this one is I mean, it could be a little messy just because of all the shimmer it has in it. You have to be very careful. Sometimes shimmer is harder to get out than the actual guide if you get it on anything. So um, be, I would definitely use a mint when applying this one um, just due to the guide and the shimmer. The guide isn't terribly dark. Once you get it on your skin, you can see it, but it's not super dark like a lot of them. Um, but I would use a mint and I found with this one, I used a lot of product when applying it. Um, I'm a pretty petite girl and this is a five ounce bottle, but I think I'd only get about three full applications out of this just because of how much product you have to use when applying it all over. The drying time was about 25 minutes um, and like I said, just be careful because it does have the shimmer and the guide, so it will be doubly hard to get out if you get it on anything. After 25 minutes, I felt okay putting my dark clothing on and crawling into bed. Um, the results. The results were very average, so I liked my tan, but it wasn't the best I've ever seen. It was just kind of middle of the road. There wasn't anything special about it. It was a medium tan. Um, it looked a little fake to me, like a little of that fake tanner look, maybe a little orangey. But again, it wasn't terrible. Um, I wouldn't really complain about the color, the tan, but I wouldn't rave about it either. Um, it was pretty smooth. I didn't have any like really splotchy areas or anything. Um, I do wish the color was darker. That is one thing I wish it was. It was darker. I was probably at about two shades darker after one application. My tan lasted about three to four days. Um, if you don't shower that often and moisturize daily, you can probably get about four days out of it. Men, I don't think you'd really like this one. Just based on the smell alone, it's so sweet. The next morning after it developed, I woke up smelling like a DHA cookie. It smelled so bad and I couldn't wait to get it off. Um, so I don't think you'd really like this one, men. Also, it's pretty pricey um, and you won't get a lot of use out of this bottle. Um, so overall, I found it to be pretty average. Um, I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Um, for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.